the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 97, 1 Samuel 22, Psalm 52. New political power group of 400. David, who ran away to Moab, returned to Judah in obedience to God, while Saul's eyes were blinded due to greed for power. First point, David comes across 400 distressed people at Adullam. David managed to regain his self-esteem through believing in God, and now he left the Philistine land and headed towards Adullam to hide. When people who were in a similar situation to him in terms of being in distress or in debt heard this, they came to him. These 400 people were also ones who had to escape from Saul's political threat. David now had 400 people to look after as well as himself, and so he went to Moab to hide. But God told David to return to Judah. It was important for God that David saw just how brutal Saul ruled the country and just how much he abused his political power. David obeyed and returned to Judah. Second point. After hiding in the west side of the Philistine country, this time David went to the east side of Moab to hide. When David went to the west side of the Philistine country to hide, he was alone. But when he went to the east side of Moab, he had 400 people with him at his care. Thankfully, Moab accepted David and ensured his protection. Presumably, David selected Moab as it was the land of Ruth. Moab for the Moab did not reach his souls later, unlike the Philistines. Third point. David started listening to the words of the prophet. David had made the decision to flee to Moab to protect him, and also the 400 that he took care of. But God had a different plan in mind. God did not want David to find protection in Moab, but rather in God. David listened to the words of prophet God and returned to Judah despite the dangers. God made sure that before David sits on the throne, he was fully trained. First point, the place David had to be was not Philistine or Moab, but right in front of Saul's political threat. David and his 400 companions returned from Moab, and this information reached Saul. When Saul heard this, he immediately recruited men from his own tribe. Now that David had his following of 400, the whole situation became more serious and larger in scale. Fifth point, David once again prayed to God in heaven. David listened to the words of a prophet God and left Moab to come back to Judah. When David heard that Saul had killed Ahimelech and the 85 priests who had helped him, he could not contain his anger and cried out to God. The content of David's prayer can be seen in Psalm 52 verses 1 to 9. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zhou has devoted his entire life 
to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.